Okay, so before we get started, if you see a kid run across or you hear a kid yell or scream or play, like noises and stuff like that, like, like sounds and stuff like that, because there's children in this house. You guys join the family. It is what it is. There's kids in here. Eight people live in this home. Yes, eight, eight. And the littlest ones are three-year-old twins, Hannah and Isabella. like it was two and this one is just not happy all right babe oh man oh boy we got some work to do ain't that right pebbles bam bam you agree pebbles you agree all right let's go Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy, if you're new here, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. As you can tell, this is gonna be another plant video. And you guys know, we don't only do plants here, we do life. So I'm just like, what happened to the plant? Like, why are you looking like this? This is a moonshine Sansevieria. I think that's how you say it, you guys. I get the big scientific names mixed up or jumbled up. We call them uh, snake plants. That's what everybody knows these as, snake plants. But this is a moonshine sense of air. Okay, so before we get started, if you see a kid run across or you hear a kid yell or scream or play, like noises and stuff like that, like, like sounds and stuff like that, because there's children in this house. You guys join the family. It is what it is. There's kids in here. Eight people live in this home. Yes, eight. Eight. And the littlest ones are three-year-old twins, Hannah and Isabella. All right, I had got this plant in the summertime, last year, summer of 2019, at Home Depot. Was it Home Depot? It was at Home Depot. It was at Home Depot, and they were on sale, and I actually grabbed two. So, I even created this pot, I painted it, I drew it. I will attach a video card, like, right about here. Um, and I painted it and everything like that because I love uh, doing pots, okay? But uh, it seems like we have an issue here. Somebody's not happy. So, we're gonna figure it out because this one is still living and it's doing great. So we're gonna uproot this bad boy, put it back into the same pot, and just remove this one and hopefully it does better. Um, I'm sorry, did I give you too much water or did the cold front, the cold front is taking place and it's ruining the plant life. So let me go grab some things. I gotta get some soil. I think that's all I need is soil. Yeah, I need soil. I want my potting mix and I want the orchid bark to top it off. And then that's gonna be about it. That's gonna be a wrap. It's not gonna be a long video. Y'all just come on, hang with me. It's not gonna be a long video. Come on, step into the room. Peace out. No, not peace out, I'm not leaving. I'm just gonna get some, you know what I mean. You have been here, y'all rocking with me. Y'all know what I mean, right? I'm, I'm, too, I'm too comfortable with you guys. Is that what it is? I can't be me? Can I be myself? No? No? I'm sorry, this, this is, this is me. <laughs> okay, you guys, I went and got the orchid bark, and I call it orchid bark, but it's orchid potting mix, but I think by now you should know what I'm talking about. Well, if you're not new, you don't know. Okay, so don't worry about that. Scratch that, tricky, tricky, scratch, scratch, scratch that. Okay, so I am going to be using cactus potting mix, like it's cactus, palm, and citrus. So I am going to be using that because this don't need to hold on to that much water. I have a plastic bag down just so I can catch all the dirt, soil. I know some people get like techie. I just, I just speak it as it comes to my mind, I'm sorry. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna expect in here. Hope no bugs. Oh wow, you guys, she, well one, she's really dry, so I haven't been over watering her. Um, but look at all her roots. I'm gonna just bring this close right here. Do you see her roots? Wait, wait. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna sit this here. But she has grown a lot, wow. 
So I'm gonna break this up only, I'm gonna like break it up a little bit only because yes, I get my fingernails dirty, my, they, I, you know, I've been in dirt all day, okay? This is my, this is what I do. But the roots, look at this. It's like, it wants to grow some more. Hopefully this pot is not too big. But um, we're just gonna break this down a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna break this down. Cause I wanna actually see what's going on here. So, just, I just wanna break it down so I can see what's going on right here. Because this is soggy. This rock, this root is done. Oh wait, let me see. I think these both boards attached to this. Yeah. Yep. All right, so. Yeah. So we have this here. It got root rot. It looked like it's root rot, you guys. That got root rot. Yeah. So, hmm. Look like it's root rot. This is still kind of growing. You know what we're gonna do, guys? I've never done this before, but um, I'm going to. Yeah, this is all root, this is all root rot. It's all wet, it's all soggy. This is like really soggy too. But I'm gonna give this a chance, we're gonna see. So this is my actual first time doing this. Um, it looks like the bottom, we're just gonna try it here together. We're gonna try it here together and you guys, I will come back and I will update it with you to see how it actually goes. It looks like it's root rot, it's really, really wet. And um, for it to be so dry, I don't know why that happened, but I'm about to put some Orchid bark at the bottom of the plant pot. Put some orchid bark down here. And I'm going to add the citrus, um, the citrus potting mix. And I'm going to tuck this down really, really good in here. And we're gonna see what happens. I'm definitely gonna update you guys. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, please go ahead and follow us on Instagram. Um, at the Soren Sugar Family is actually the name of the channel. I pray that it does well. I've never experienced root rot like this before. Usually the I have dug down the plant and I was able to save it, but that was all wet and it just broke off. And so um, this is what it's looking like on the inside right now. So it looks like on the inside. I'ma top it with some more orchid bark. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna top it with some orchid bark. Man. Calm down, you guys. Kids upstairs. Oh, you guys, I pray that it works. Top it with um, orchid bark. Just like so. And then we're done, you guys. This is what she's gonna be working with. Oh God, please bless this plant. Let it do well. Let it do well. Let her do well. All right, so she has a new baby girl right there. Hopefully she continues to do well. I'm not gonna water her at all. I'm not gonna water her. So she has a new baby growing on the inside, if you guys can see that. And I am not gonna water her. I am gonna wash my hands. Sorry if I'm grossing you guys out because of my nails. But um, yeah, it looks good. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. When I got to the bottom of that root, I was not expecting that. I was, I'm was i really kind of disappointed. I feel like I don't have high expectations, but I have hope. So I hope that it does well. And I guess it's fair to say that the plant was officially had gotten root rot and it was nothing left to do, but it was worth a try to try and <laughs> take it apart and put it in here to see what would happen. Um, that sucks, but I do have another Sansevieria moonshine plant in there, and we're just gonna have to toss this one. Sorry, Pebbles and Bam Bam. We gotta get rid of this one. Mm -hmm. There it is. Nothing.